So um, I'm joined by Miles Kane on the phone on the release day of his brand new album, Change the Show. So I just want to start with congratulations on the new album. Hey, thank you so much, mate. It's, um, it seems surreal that I'm, it's actually out there now. I think like it's been such a long build up to this one. Um, so I'm absolutely buzzing, really, mate. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I can imagine. Imagine it's quite a, a busy day for you as well. Yeah, <laughs> the last few weeks have been mental, really. So yeah, it's been non-stop. But I, uh, I prefer it when it's like that. To be honest, mate. Yeah, I feel a bit more calmer when I am busy. If that makes sense. Yeah, I know what you're saying. And I won't keep you too long anyway, because I know you have a, uh, an acoustic show tonight. Uh, is it in a chicken <laughs> shop? <laughs> yeah, never would I thought I'd be talking, I'd be saying these words on an album release day, mate, yeah, but believe it or not, we're doing there uh, a couple of gigs in our little local chicken sort of wing places of gas that me and me mate Big Lou, we, it's like we're just banging to wings and fried chicken, as simple as really, that's kind of our thing, and then... We, were, we got we got into making them once, and we had a little night in ours and put it on Insta, and people seemed to buzz off it. So we um, this opportunity arose to go to this gaff that we do, and, we, and I thought, well, if we're doing that, we should. I'll do an acoustic set as well. Anyway, so we're doing two two uh, sit-ins and an acoustic, two acoustic shows this evening as, as a little like uh, celebration for the album too. You know, so it'll be nice. Very nice, and um, I believe you've created your own buffalo sauce for the occasion as well, have you? Uh, exactly, mate. So, <laughs> it's, uh, I'm a man of many talents, mate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, it's uh, it's one way to promote your album and, and your buffalo sauce, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so, it's your first solo album since Coup de Gras in uh, 2018, mm-hmm. which has been the best best part of four years now. And, um, I mean, I know you've had other projects like the Jade's Hearts Club since then. But um, what's new between then and now, solo-wise, creatively? Yeah, I mean, loads. I think, you know, I, I took my time with this record, or, you know, I kind of, I went in on it, on, like, lyrics and stuff like that, so it was kind of, I, 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 I was in sort of, uh, how to put it, not in a, I wasn't not, not in a rush, but I, I kind of, the, the whole creative process was quite it enjoy- was enjoyable mate you know and it was like it took a while to figure out what style of tunes what kind of album i wanted to make but i knew whatever way it went like i, I wanted it to be like i sort of the most cohesive record that i've made to date really and, and, I, and i have achieved that on them um, change the show yeah i mean it's been described as an album that best represents miles kane i read that's a nice thing to do here. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, there's a there's a lot of um, Motown, soulful, 50s, 60s film scuff stuff throughout it. Yeah. And, um, I mean, your music has always had that sort of atmosphere of a film score. Um, yeah, exactly. I, you know, I think I've always, there's always that in there, isn't there? So it's, um, you know, it's, it's kind of like, you know, it's it's all about the same. Because, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it was really complimented by Corinne Bailey Ray as well on the single "Nothing's Ever Going to Be yeah. the Same." Um, how did that duet come about? Yeah, I mean that's an absolute banger that one, and I can't wait to play that live. You know, the proper stomper. Yeah. And you know, we've we've been friends for for a long time. She she sang like BDs and harmonies on my first solo record, "Color of the Trap." So we've been mates then, and then we rekindled our friendship a couple of years back and we started sending each other tunes and she loved nothing's going to be good enough and we talked about writing a duet and stuff and for a long time really so it was kind of a no-brainer so we tried it we tweaked some lyrics to make it a real back and forth between the two of us to tell a story and uh and it turned out great you know what i mean it's got both our personalities on it and um it's kind of it's the ideal duet in my eyes. Yeah, yeah, it really works, and um, I mean the whole album in general is like a really nice 
easy listening album. And um, yeah, it's good. Just to, you can stick it on, can't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I, I also found that out. Um, it's a good album to get ready to. I mean, I had it playing last night when I was getting sorted. So um, Did you have yeah. Uh, no, just getting sorted, yeah. But um, it yeah, it worked. Nice. Um, you're heading out to tour it around the UK in May, wasn't it? Uh, which is a little later than you originally planned. Yeah, it was just with everything that was going on, mate, and stuff, and I think everyone was doing it, and it kind of a lot of gigs were happening, and there'd be half the people there because of whatever isolation and all that. So we just um, we made the decision, and hopefully. Excuse me, mate. It'll be, it'll be better. It'll be the summer. People will have lived with the album, and I think you know what I mean. It'll just be all round better for everyone involved. What can fans expect? Like a lot of old and new material combined. Yeah, we, well, we've got you know we've got an amazing the, the, me and the band. And we've got Holly joining with us, who who did all that singing, the, the backups and the soul singing on the album. And you know, I want to put on a, a, a an, an amazing show. You know what I mean? And um, we you know, was talking about having some screens, so it was like us projected onto them behind us, and, and just to give give the fans what they deserve, and, and, and just to have an all round great night is what I'm is what I'm going to achieve, and and play all the best songs I've done from you know the four albums, do a cover, do a couple of puppets tunes, and, and just have a, an amazing set list is what uh, I plan. Yeah, you mentioned uh, Last Shadow Puppets there and uh, we mentioned Jaded Hearts Club, which is the other project earlier as well. Um, I mean, it must be great to have so many different varieties of outlets you know, to keep you busy. Yeah, it is. And also, it's, it's great to... I'm lucky, you know, like say on this record, you, know, you can try a duet with Corinne or whatever it may be. You know, it, it's nice to have that freedom. So hopefully, you know, that, that just keeps you on you know and it's like you you can get try things that may be uncomfortable you know and they you know but finding comfort in that uncomfortable that makes sense and, and that's what makes you improve and makes you makes you better really it's just, just keep on keep on doing it and trying new things is the only way to move forward i reckon like yeah i mean that's what i was gonna ask like do you keep do you find it tough to uh upkeep all of these different projects at the same time yeah well well sometimes i mean the puppets and the, and the jaded i mean there's so much time between them and that and then but it, it's more like yeah like to, to try new things yeah because sometimes you get comfy in your, in your comfort zone definitely you know whether it be who's you working with or who you're recording with or producing with or whatever it may be so um, it, 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 sometimes you do have to check yourself just to say, now I'm going to try it, or I'll just try something else. If it's not as good, then I'll stick as, stick as I am, you know what I mean? Yeah, makes sense. Um, anyway, I'll, uh, I'll finish on this. I've uh, I've been listening to quite a lot of um, There's an Island Discs on BBC at the minute. So, um, yeah. yeah, so um, I thought I'd rip, off, rip those off for a bit with this bit. Um, if you could only eat one food and listen to one album for the rest of your life, what would it be? <laughs> well, the food's got to be chicken wings. <laughs> I had a feeling you were going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no shit, Sherlock. And, um, fucking um, an album. I'll do. I'll, I'll do on the beach uh, by Neil Young. Oh, very nice. An album. That yeah. works as well. Brilliant. Well, uh, thank you very much for taking the time on such a busy day for you. Um, no, no worries, brother. Yeah. You're Get yourself down the Manchester gig when we, when we play the Yeah, yeah, I've, um, I've got that sorted. I'll uh, I'll come down for it. Um, yeah, but yeah, right. brilliant. Yeah, all, all right. the best with yeah. the album. Take care, mate. Have a good one. Yeah, you too, mate. Bye. Right. Right.